Good morning, friends. Welcome to the Monday after Thanksgiving. I am so ready to get back in a routine, although I thoroughly loved having all of my kids home, um, six of them home for the entire week last week. It was wonderful to have a more laid back schedule and be able to stay up a little later and start watching some Christmas movies and Thanksgiving movies. But today it is back to school. We've got three weeks until Christmas break. This morning, um, I realize we desperately need a sugar detox. So my littlest ones are having lots of protein in their breakfast and lunch. Just a simple breakfast burrito for them this morning with um, eggs and cheese on a low carb tortilla. For lunch, my daughter actually requested ham, pickle, and cream cheese roll ups, which is one of their favorites. If you're new here, I just lay out several slices of ham and then a long sliver of pickle and a long sliver of cream cheese. And then we roll it up and slice it basically like sushi rolls. And the kids love it. It's sugar-free and gluten-free and packed with protein and a tiny bit of vegetables. We hosted dinner on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this past week, feeding a total of 52 people not all at once, thankfully, but spread out over those three nights. And it was so wonderful having so much of our extended family home. All eight of my children were home all together at the same time for about 24 hours. Some new significant others were able to join us, and it was absolutely wonderful. Probably one of my very favorite Thanksgivings of all time. And not just Thanksgiving Day, but the entire weekend. And it didn't feel stressful or rushed. It was wonderful. Today, I have an annual doctor's checkup this morning, and then I'm going to run to Costco and Sam's, and I've got to take my teenagers to Chorus and Drama because we are still down a vehicle right now. So I've got a lot of running around to do, but first I need to filter this milk, and my husband's going to feed the calves, and I've got to get my little munchkins out the door for school. Once I get back home after running all of those errands, my main goals for today are in the kitchen, I really need to make some bread and also some granola to get us started for this week. And I'd also like to finally tackle the laundry room, which as you will see in just a few minutes, is absolutely atrocious. I don't know why the laundry room gets hit the hardest over the weekend, probably because it's where we come in from the outside. We always come in the back door, shoes get kicked off, um, toys, helmets, and rollerblades get left on the floor. And of course, we track in tons of sand. We have very sandy soil around here, which I suppose is better than red clay, but it makes quite a mess and it ends up all over the entire house. Speaking of floors, if I have time later, I could definitely mop the entire downstairs, but particularly the kitchen and dining area that received the most foot traffic over the last several days, and I would love to see that mopped. I also have quite a bit of laundry to catch up on. I ran a few loads over the last few days, but I didn't really do anything with it unless I desperately needed some cleaning rags or a kitchen towel here and there, or maybe one of my children was looking for a specific shirt. For the most part, I've just been filling up laundry hampers and <laughs> taking turns dumping it on my bed and putting it back in the basket, dumping it on the bed and putting it back in the basket. I would like to kind of take visual inventory of my freezers and see what all we can pull out to defrost and use in our dinners this week, as well as kind of creating a tentative dinner menu. And I need to take a look at our calendar and see if there are any nights this week that we will be away from the house and need something more convenient, either in the crock pot or the instant pot. Our current laying hens will be four years old in the spring, and that is awfully old in chicken years for laying eggs. They are definitely starting to slow down. So we have two incubators going right now. We have hatched four eggs so far. This little guy is number five. We are certainly hoping and praying that the majority of them are hens and not roosters. Unfortunately, part of being out of our regular routine means that my daughter, who is on dishes starting yesterday, forgot to wash the remainder of the dishes last night before she went to bed. We stayed up a little bit later than we normally would for a school night, and when she went to bed, she missed a few. So I am getting the dishwasher started before I jump in the tub. 
and head out the door for errands and appointments. I've gotten in the habit of kind of giving you a glimpse of the state of our house on Monday mornings, just so you can see the progress I make throughout the day and to help you remember that we are all completely normal and human. We live in this house and it gets so messy, especially over the weekend. The table is not so bad. Um, some of my kids added a few little Christmas touches to our Thanksgiving table and we keep our Christmas decorations pretty minimalistic. We don't go crazy in every room, but they like to add things here and there as they take them out of our Christmas bins. We did follow our normal 30-year family tradition. This is my husband's family tradition of going to a local tree farm and having our tree cut down, and we go on a hayride and have hot cocoa and boiled peanuts. It's such a fun tradition. We actually had a photographer come out this year since the entire family was going to be here and had pictures made, and I cannot wait to see those when we get them back. The living room wasn't in bad shape either, but moving on to the laundry room, oh my word, stuff just gets dropped. Literally, they couldn't pick the broom up and hang it two feet to the right where it belongs. See what I mean about the shoes, and there are trash bags of books that need to go to Goodwill. So many things. As always, I like to get the day started with a new load of laundry to kind of get the ball rolling and help with productivity. My bedroom is definitely looking worse for the wear. As much as I don't love this drying rack being a permanent fixture in our master bedroom, I use it every single day. It is so handy for our items of clothes that need to be hung up to dry. And this drying rack just simplifies things rather than what I used to do, which would be to put everything on hangers and hang them from doors and doorknobs. I am very curious to know in the comments, how many of you prefer showers versus baths? Here we are the middle of the morning and I'm about to get in the tub. I can probably count on one hand the number of times that I have used our big master shower. I've just always been a bath girl. So I'm running a bubble bath at 8 a.m. and quickly getting to my appointment and then running a few errands. After my appointment, I needed to take my vitamins and supplements, so I swung through Duncan and got an iced coffee before heading to a meeting and then Costco. Finally, back at the farm, and it is the most gorgeous day. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. I think our high is like 55 today. The calves are getting so big. They're so friendly, especially little Rusty. He always gets up in hopes that I have a bottle behind my back, I suppose. It's hard to believe they are already five weeks old. Back inside to start a much needed load of towels. A lot of these towels are outdoor towels that we have had to use to dry Penny off. When it rains, it's very challenging to milk because even though our milking stall is under a roof, cows obviously get soaking wet when it rains and it's almost like the rain is up under their fur. So I can dry them her off two or three times and I still end up feeling water droplets falling on me from her back. And if a single drop of that were to fall in the milk, we wouldn't strain it and drink it. We would just feed that to the calves. Now, finally to tackle the master bedroom. I don't remember when my son said this or if I shared this with you last week, but my youngest son, who is seven, mentioned to me that he needed some more winter clothes, particularly long sleeve shirts. And I informed him that he actually has plenty of long sleeve shirts and his mother just needs to do the laundry. <laughs> so his drawers are nice and full now with plenty of long sleeve shirts and pants. Thankfully, I thought to ask my teenage daughters what they suggested for dinner tonight, and one of my twins said, why don't we do personal pizzas? Because they really enjoy that, and we don't do it very often, and all that involves for me is mixing up the dough and portioning it out for all of us. The girls will shred the cheese for me. We've got sauce already canned in the pantry, and everyone can make theirs however they like, so that is going to make dinner very easy tonight. It feels great to have my bedroom and laundry room done and finally be caught up on laundry. I think I do have one load left, but that's not bad for a Monday. I am looking forward to having a leisurely dinner. I'm going to milk Penny early, and then we are going to watch a Christmas movie this evening. Thanks for watching.